Hiya there everyone, it's, just a, it's Marcus from Dead Man's Gaming It's a quick video about um, a bit of Tate gaming it's showing comparisons between playing a mini Tate setup compared to normal things like that, so just to clarify at the start, it is pronounced Tate and not Tata or Tate Tate so there <laughs> So you watch the video, see what you think guys. Cheers. Right, so the first example I thought I'd show for the differences between normal um, mode, which is uh, Yoko mode and, and Tate mode is Gawange, because I've got a, this copy on the Xbox 360, so I've got to show it in its normal orientation, then I'll rotate the screen into Tate mode, then I can also show it on my uh, Tate set up on my um, CRT, so you can see the three versions, and it just I think it shows nicely the benefits of rotating your screen if you can. So anyway, we'll try it first. It's just a quick blast, and then I'll um, pause the screen and then um, rotate it so you can see what I mean. I mean it looks nice anyway. It's a good game by Cave. So here we go. I won't play for very long, but then I'll rotate the screen. See what I mean? You've just got you've got more real estate. You've got the biggest screen to look at. It's just better, in my opinion. So anyway, here we go. I don't even know that's how you pronounce the game. I might, I might be actually butchering that, but anyway, it looks like it's pronounced Go Anderson. So you see, typical cave shooter, really good. There we go. So I'll stop it there now, and then I'll go to the screen, then we'll have another. So I've brought it the screen now, and I've brought to all the menus. So you can see most of the screen the way I've got the camera set up. But anyway, we'll have a look at them. It's now and it's normal. You can obviously stretch the the window, the gameplay window, if you want to. But for me, just straight away, it looks it seems more natural how it should be played. So this, this is the first one. What I'll do now uh, next, after I have a little bit of gameplay on this, I'll show um, on the CRT I've got, which is obviously a main arcade emulator called the, the RGB Pi, where I use it. It plays 240p on a CRT TV, which you're going to have rotated into the tattoo mode. Right, there we go. So you see, it'll be the same game, but it'll be on um, on main. So here we go. Right, there we set before I actually start the gameplay I'll show a common fault or a common mistake people make. I've got that currently set up. It's obviously in Tate mode, but it's actually set to widescreen. Now if you're gonna be playing on a on a big TV like this, it needs to be set to 4.3. Cause then you've got actually the, the correct size screen. So obviously you might be keen to, to use as much screen as you can, but that's the right size. And as you can see compared to the Xbox 360 version I was playing, it just takes up more of the screen and for me it's just better on this. And it is in 240p, how it would have been in the arcade. So I'll try to, again just start a bit of gameplay so you can see what I mean. And I prefer this anyway. I think it just looks tons better on this screen than it does on the Xbox 360. And there's nothing, this is just a Sony Trinitron which it looks absolutely ridiculous on its side. But the gameplay and the size of the screen is absolutely phenomenal compared to uh, other things. It's, it's, I mean, the TV itself was, was free, I think. Now, the RGB Pi costs a, a little bit more, but um, it's fantastic little bit of kit. And everyone knows, pretty much knows how to run main, but this is just a way of running it in 240p for the SCART socket in RGB, of course. at the same point we were earlier. Oh well, 
yeah, that just looks uh, tons better, and it's such a great way to play the game in Tate mode. It seems like it is the way the game was designed after all. Anyway, so I'll end that there. There we go. So next up is Raiden, which this is the PlayStation version. Um, so I'll show a bit of play, gameplay on this. Now I've got other versions, obviously. This is on a normal 14 inch PVM when I'm recording on uh, in, in Yoko mode. That, I've, I've actually set the screen to vertical, but obviously you can just see it's a bit narrower than normal. And then I'll show Raiden on the, the, the RGB Pi and some other variations are riding on the Xbox 360 in Tate mode. So anyway, we'll see what it looks like. So this is riding two. So back in the other room again, this is Raiden on the RGB Pi on the CRT in Turtle Bowl, so let's have a look at this one. It's actually got a good speaker on this TV as well, so again it just it just seems tons better on this TV. I love this is my favourite Tarte setup, even though the Xbox does have some fantastic shooting on there. This is my favourite, play on here. And all I use is an Xbox uh, 360 control stick. RK6, sorry, because it's obviously USB, so it's great. So this is Raiden Fighter Aces on the Xbox 360. So obviously part of the Raiden series. So we'll show a bit of gameplay on this one now. Again, this is um, I guess a more retro styled version. So you'll see when I play Raiden 4 next, which is a bit shinier, more HD I guess. But this is still a cracking game. Well all the Raiden games are actually cracking games.
we'll move on to uh, Ryden 4 now. So we can have a look at that. Obviously he's still playing in Titan mode. So he is Ryden 4, which is absolutely superb on the Xbox 360. So again, we'll just have a quick blast though. Make a start. So now we're on to the Karuga. Again, this is in normal mode. This is on a 14 inch CRT. And this is the GameCube version. So I'll quick sit out of this and see what it looks like compared to um, on the Xbox 360, which is in Tate mode, which looks excellent actually. Really good on the Xbox 360. But anyway, here we go. I haven't played this for a while, so excuse my bad gameplay, but here we go now. To the 360. Right, so we are back in the other room, and this is obviously, um, as I said, Ikaruga. It just takes a, 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 a nice big screen on this one, so I like it. So just go straight into it. And again, my gameplay won't be very good, but you can get the idea. It's got a nice big screen, and it looks excellent on the 360.
go. Really smart. I could do this all day, but I thought the final game I'd show is just to demonstrate that it doesn't have to be a shooter. So this is Arkanoid. Uh, this phone's on the Xbox 360, which is in yeah, your core mode, and I'll show you the on the CRT RGB Pi, which is obviously in Tate mode. So anyway, we'll get going. Have a look at it. Now, naturally, I'd rather play this with a, some kind of spinner or a roller, but this I'll just have to make do with the the actual um, arcade stick. I actually prefer playing this on the Atari ST with a mouse. It works really well with a mouse. But anyway, we'll see how we get on. There you go, who doesn't like Arcanite? It's just not easy when you haven't got some kind of analog. But anyway, there you go. You get the idea. So it's nice and shiny in HD, but it just looks it's good in in uh, that same mode anyway. Nearly done. Get the last one. Here we go, dear. There we go. Round cleared. Now we move on to the CRT now. Right, so here's Arkanoid Revenger door. And as I've mentioned before, it just it fits the screen really well. It's in 240p. It just looks excellent. See how bad I can do this. So not as shiny as the 360 version and it's quicker. So we'll see how we get on anyway. Oh, see, not very good. Needs a spinner or some kind of roller, which I'm sure you could do with um, with MAME on this. I'm sure there's a USB device like that out there. Whoops, rubbish. Anyway. That's 45 seconds of hell. So you can get the idea with that anyway. So I'll end it there. I thought it was worth showing just quickly. I've got just a, a just a main a ROM set on this game, which is 750 games. And as you can see, I'll just flick through some. You can see most of them are like um, basically like shooting them ups. But there's all sorts of things. Like you see, having a Tate set up, it doesn't have to be just um, shoot them up. There's all sorts of games that play in Tate mode. It'd be probably quite a pleasant surprise if anybody did something similar and just had a, like I say, a Tate ROM set. But like I say, there's 74 loads and it is just brilliant to play on this Tate setup. Anyway, like I say, I can keep going down with loads and loads of them. I mean, things like Pac-Man, all these things are traditional arcade games you wouldn't realise, but they all play, well, a lot of them play in Tate mode. Anyway, as you can see, loads and loads and loads and loads. I could obviously play show gameplay on any others if people ever want me to, but you can see loads and loads and loads. And they're all superb on a big Tate set, especially on the CRT. This is, like I said earlier, this is my favourite Tate set. I just love it. Anyway, there you go. Anyway, that's our quick video. So it doesn't matter if you don't have a Tate set up, but if you ever have the chance to do it, I would strongly recommend you do. Like you see my one at the side here. Is an RGB Pi, which isn't very much, output in 240p, and I've just got an old CRT television which was free, or about £5, so I would strongly recommend doing that because it is just excellent. When you try it once, you can see what all the fuss is about. Anyway, I'll catch you later guys. Cheers.